Welcome back to Automotive Adventures. Uh, I thought it's been a while since I've made a video. It's been a long while since I've made a video. So I thought I'd make another one now. Uh, it's good to see that the channel is thriving without me. Uh, you guys have done really good at keeping up with the views, even though I haven't posted in a while. I've been a little busy. I'm actually going to widen that a little bit farther so it's easier to see. So uh, a couple things I've changed. I don't know. I got to look back at my last videos because I don't know if this was ever in the video of recent. But I did put this on. I put a uh, front grill guard myself. Uh, I know you can probably buy mid-size truck guards, but I just made my own mounts that came out, and then I put this on. And then I was going to do a very extensive project for it, but I actually liked the idea that me and my brother came up uh, earlier, which was uh, just welding on some chain to it right there and right there. And so I actually think it turned out really good how I like it with the chain going down like that and over on this side. And then um, also it's painted black. That might have been my last video. I don't know, because... Um, I do have a video talking about something I replaced there that I have to edit and put together yet. And then I did have another video about something I'm going to show you right now, but I kind of just gave up on it after a while. So this was a very long and hard project. I put barbed wire around my headache rack. Now, uh, my uncle bought land and found a bunch of old barbed wire on it he didn't need anymore. And so I took it because this was my immediate first idea with it, which was a stupid idea. Um, it looks really cool, and I'm, I'm glad I did it, but in the end, it took way longer than I would have liked it to take to do this. I had to, I wonder if you can see one down here. It's tack welded on, and then it's wrapped around the entirety of it, and then I think it, this one uh, goes all the way and stops right there, and then that one's in the middle, this one's in the middle, uh, the one across from the top is by itself, and then I think that corner is all connected right there. And so it's really cool and it was awesome when it was done, but it was probably one of the most painful things I've ever done with this truck, just in general because of that. Uh, and then I also have my whips with American flags. That was for the 4th of July a long time ago, but I just left them on. Uh, my truck kind of seems naked without them now. So I'm actually going to start looking for better flags to put on because not everybody thinks uh, these are the best solution to have on. And a lot of people think I'm really, really, uh, you know redneckish because of that and uh nothing against rednecks or anything like that i'm just saying that people like to give me hell for it and that's okay they have their opinion but also my toolbox uh got this a while back uh got it in chrome didn't like that so of course it had to be painted black and if i grab my keys i can open up real quick keep it locked all the time because i actually keep some pretty expensive stuff in here I'll show you so open it up and you got uh, just a cheap little um, mitt or well, stick welder with all the cables right there uh, you got your wire brush if you got to scrape anything uh, helm or uh, not an auto darkening helmet it's just a regular helmet with a little shield for anybody who's helping you uh, of course brake fluid I'll tell you why I have a bunch of brake fluid in the back here uh, soon too also that's an empty oil container I keep my empty oil containers in case I ever need to do an oil change and I need to be able to put the old oil somewhere until I can bring it to the local shop who will burn it or dispose of it. A good thing of oil, uh, more brake fluid. I have my electrical kit in here for all the wiring I do for all the lights I have up front and everything like that. This is what I painted my truck with. Uh, it stays inside the bed of the truck. As you can see, it stays in the toolbox in case I do something like that. I have my uh, torque wrench if I need to torque anything, the welding rods, uh, vice grips, you know, you got to have everything. And then I got the ramps for putting a vehicle up in case you need to work on it. Uh, right here, you can barely see it, is my toolbox for all my tools. Uh, in the corner there's painter's tape, uh, and a uh, multimeter, and then underneath over there is jumper cables. And then I also got, I don't know where it went, it was somewhere in here, but I also have uh, just some regular stereo wire. So, all together, this is pretty expensive, like the welder itself was like 100 bucks, and then the ramps itself were 40 and then the toolbox was like 160 so all together. I do keep a lot of expensive stuff in here, so I always try to keep it locked so that in case anything bad happens, nobody gets into it. And so, nice uh, addition. It's got the automatic struts and lock it. So, don't open it anymore. Uh, the bed of my truck's not in good shape. Great shape, I'd say. Uh, the truck bed coating did do good, but I can see where I probably should have done two or three coats. But it's, a, it's the back of a, a truck bed. I mean, what do you expect? And then uh, I got some water damage, uh, some fog liquid that's in a container for fogging mosquitoes away, spilt in the back, and so it kind of just ruined over there, and I've tried to wash it off, but it doesn't help, so I'm gonna probably going to have to re-go over it with paint, 
which is fine. I'll deal with it. As you can see for the outside, I really need to wash it. But when I wash it, I kind of got to get like a, a, a light scrub brush so that I don't take my paint off, which is okay. I also went around and redid all the stuff, like the 4x4. Four four. I did that in red paint marker. Um, you'll see, like right here, I did the LE. That's the type of my truck is, and I got a sticker. New Belgium Brewing. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, the Dakota 4x4 four four is also in red. Um, I got a bullet tip antenna because I don't know why, and the, the tip for that is red. You can hear my dog in the background playing with its friend. Annoying as hell. And uh, that's probably one of my favorite ones is the V8 EFI. So that's painted red, but along with the, the light bar and that and that. And so that's all good. And then um, come inside the truck. We'll uh, open the hood. Go take a look at that. I'm going to put my keys away so I can actually do stuff like that. I'll be back once. Okay, so now that the hood is open, let me show you some things. Uh, this is a mess right now because I just got it uh, worked out the way I wanted it. But I do have a lot running off of this. I have these two cables right here run for the uh, lights I have at the bottom along with the CB radio I have. This one is for a subwoofer I installed in the back of my truck that doesn't work yet because I need a better amp and that's okay. This is the negative for the CB radio. I could have grounded it out. I didn't think about that until I got it all the way back here, so it's whatever. And then I think uh, along right here is also grounded out the light bar. And so one day I'm going to take all these, and I already kind of coiled it once, but I'll take it all off and I'll coil it better and get it shoved under there better. That's okay. I also got an Edelbrock air filter. Uh, didn't really improve it or anything like that. It's just something cool that I wanted. It got rid of a big clunky piece of plastic that sat in my truck and annoyed me um this was a failed thing right here the paint that uh, the people told me would work on there uh heated itself off and chipped and you can see where it was painted red but now it just i kind of like it i think it's okay that it, you know kind of crumbled and turned to that color and it doesn't bother me too bad um i got a breather filter for the oil hose air and taking all that and uh i haven't done an oil change in a long time and so my oil is kind of diluted with gas right now, and I'll, I'll take care of that soon. I'll do a video maybe. But you can take it off and see that in there it's kind of brownish now because of that, and that's okay. Plop that back in right there. And so uh, when I got my truck fixed, the transfer case, uh, you can see it from right up here, right there is the front drive shaft. And there's uh, clips that hold the front drive shaft on if you know what I'm talking about. And it came off, and the clip was hanging off, and it smacked my brake line. And so I lost all brakes. I survived, sadly. I'm joking. But uh, along with that, so we had to install a new brake line. And so down there, you can barely see it. There's a new brake line that connects to that tire. And when I did that, I went ahead and just got rid of the uh, plastic things that covered right there. Uh, like I said before, I don't take my truck mudding, and I don't do any extreme like that, so I really should have no issue with, like, water or anything getting inside my engine bay. You can see the new line right here. It's clean, and it goes back, and it connected to this one, so that's a really better representation of everything. And uh, Other than that, nothing in my engine bay has kind of changed, so it's all the same. So I'll be back in a second. So I closed the hood, and now I'm going to uh, go tell you what that other video was about. And so, right here is the CB radio that I told you about. It runs up to right here, and that's cool. And what happened was uh, all four of these buttons got stuck in, so it was stuck on defrost. And I took my entire dash apart and uh, fixed that, which is awesome, because all of a sudden, my air conditioning started working again, which is great. Uh... No use as of it now because it's about to become winter. And so I guess I'll deal with that the way I deal with that. And transfer case is fixed. And uh, real quick, I'll just show you the uh, subwoofer. It's still kind of grudgy. I got to I gotta fix it yet. I got to make the box a little bit better. And then that amp is a old one, so it doesn't work too well. So thanks for watching. This was the uh, update on the truck after a good while. Uh, the new brake line, the... The whip flags, the toolbox and everything, and the transfer case fixed, and the tires, and everything just looks really good. And I've been working around. You can see a spot from where the brake fluid came out when we were fixing that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.